guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm here with another makeup tutorial for you guys so this makeup tutorial is actually inspired by a post that I saw on Huda Beauty let me just pull it up actually it wasn't a picture it was more a makeup video and it inspired me to kind of recreate that look so that's exactly what I did here today so this is what my this is essentially the video that inspired my makeup look for today. Okay, so that is the video that I watched and I was like, oh my god, this makeup look is so beautiful. So I kind of used that video and created this look right here. It's very similar, but definitely I don't think as intense as the video. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I recreated this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm first starting off with my GB moisturizer and this is in the lavender scent So I'm just going ahead and applying this all over my face and I'm putting a generous amount because I want to make sure my skin is well hydrated Especially with the winter weather. My skin has been very very dry So I'm being very generous and just applying this all over So next I'm grabbing this Huda Beauty sample that I got from Sephora and it's a sample of their full filter foundation as well as the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base Primer. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going ahead and priming my face using the primer. So now I'm just grabbing my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Rose Gold. So I'm just putting this all over my face and just buffing it out. And of course, now I'm color correcting my face using my two go-to products. So first I'm using my MAC um, Prep and Prime color correcting stick in the shade Peach Luster. And I'm just applying that to the areas of my face which I fe where I feel like needs some color correcting. So that's around my mouth and under my eyes. And I'm just buffing that out with my finger. And then I'm just going over that with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand.
Okay, so now I'm going ahead in with foundation. I'm mixing the first two shades, the two lighter shades from this sample. So I first started off using Macaroon, which is 230N, and you can see my reaction on screen. I know this shade was not the right shade for me, but I felt that the, found the foundation was getting a little bit dry, so I was just quickly trying to spread this all over my face uh, and even it out. Also, I just want to say that the coverage of this foundation is insane. Like, I don't think my skin has ever looked this clear. Um, I did feel like borderline, it was a bit cakey, but it's really good for like very glam makeup looks, which is kind of what I was going for today. So that's okay. It was perfect. Um, so now I'm just trying to balance out the lighter shade all over my face so everything looks even. And now I'm going ahead in with the darker shade, which is called Amaretti in the shade 310G. So I'm just using this to kind of balance out my skin tone and make it the right shade. Um, so that's just what I'm doing right now, trying to bring color back because the first shade was definitely too light for me. So now I'm just going ahead in and priming my eyelids using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. So for today's look, I'll be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and I'm grabbing the shade Blazing and I'm using the brush Morphe M433 and I'm buffing this color out onto my outer corners and using a very light hand and making sure to blend, blend, blend so the eye look looks effortless. So now using the same brush, I'm going ahead in and grabbing the shade Amber and I'm just defining the outer corners a bit, really concentrating that in the center and then just bringing it out a bit onto my crease. So now I'm just grabbing just a clean blending brush. I grabbed my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just softening out the edges to make sure nothing looks harsh. So now I'm grabbing my Morphe M410 brush and I'm grabbing some concealer. I grabbed my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just cutting my crease and I'm only doing the first inner half. So once the concealer is on and I'm happy with how I placed it and cut the crease, I'm just using my finger to soften out the product on my eyelids so it's not so cakey. So now I'm going ahead in and taking the color Angelic and Celestial using my M456 Morphe brush. I'm just applying these two colors onto the area that I just concealed. So just mixing those two and just blending that out. So what I'm doing is I'm using more of a stippling motion to apply the shimmer onto my eyes. This way the product really goes into the concealer and it stays put. So now I'm just lightly blending those two areas together, making sure that the shimmer and the orange are nicely blended. And now I just grabbed the first brush that I used to apply the orange on the outer corners. And I'm just softening it out to make sure that everything looks even. 
And now, of course, I'm doing my favorite thing, which is creating a nice outer V for my eyeshadow. And so I'm just using that same brush and the same uh, orange color that we first began with. And I'm just creating a nice outer V. So now I'm just grabbing the shade Amethyst, which is this beautiful purple color. And I'm applying this onto the outer corners of my eyes to darken up that area. Um, so once I'm done with that, I'm just grabbing some eyeliner. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner and I'm just creating a nice uh, winged liner. So now I'm grabbing Amethyst again and I'm grabbing a pencil brush. This is a Sephora Collection one. And I'm applying this purple shade right in between the transition of the shimmer and the orange just to add a little more color to the lids. So now using the same pencil brush, I'm grabbing this black eyeshadow from a Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette and I'm placing this color onto the lower half of the outer corners of my eyes and then using my Morphe E17 brush, I'm just blending the black eyeshadow very softly, taking my time and trying to infuse that black in with the purple and the orange that are placed on the outer corners. So now I'm taking the shade Twilight and I'm applying this onto the inner half of my eyelids just using my finger and a tapping motion. So now to conceal, I'm using my Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I'm just applying this onto um, the, my under eyes and I'm blending this out with my Morphe sponge. And now to set everything, I'm using my KKW Beauty uh, Baking Powder in the shade 03, which is a nice banana shade. So I'm just going ahead and applying this onto the under eyes where I concealed, and around my mouth, and a little on the bridge of my nose, and on the center of my forehead, just to brighten up my face. And so I quickly did my brows off camera using my Cabrow product by Benefit. So brows are done and now I'm going ahead in and wiping away all the baking powder that was on my face. So now I'm grabbing my Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner and this is a pencil liner and I'm going ahead and lining my waterline. And once I'm done with that, I'm going ahead in with my the black eyeshadow and this brush right here. And I'm just smoking out my lower lash line uh, a bit more. And using the same brush, I'm going ahead in and grabbing the orange shade that I used um, on the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm applying that to my lower lash line as well. And then just smoking that out with the brush that I used on the outer corners of my eyes. So now I'm just going ahead and applying some falsies. I'm using my Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. And now I'm just applying some mascara onto my lower lash line as well as my uh, actual lashes and the falsies just so everything is nice and meshed together. So now I'm just taking my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced and I'm going ahead and contouring my face. And then I'm grabbing this palette that I got from my Too Faced Christmas Cookie House Party collection. And I'm grabbing the bronzer from there and just warming up my face. 
And then once I'm done with that, I'm grabbing the blush from the same palette and I'm going ahead in and warming up and adding some nice pink tones to my face. And I'm just cleaning up the edges using the brush, the sponge that I use to apply the KKW Beauty baking powder and just wiping that all away now. And now I'm highlighting my face using my Fenty Beauty Hustla Baby Highlight. And just using my finger, I'm taking the Hustle Baby highlight and just highlighting my brow bones and the inner corners of my eyes. Not quite sure why I decided to use my fingers, but it worked out pretty well. <laughs> um, so now I'm going ahead in and lining my lips using the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Pumpkin. Now this product is completely messed up, like it's broken. Her lip liners, no offense to Kylie Jenner, are not the greatest, so you can see I'm kind of struggling to hold the product in place and line my lips um, I did like this shade and I like the actual the lip liner itself but just the packaging it just it's broken so that's just upsetting but that literally happened to all my, my lip liners from Kylie Jenner's uh, makeup line but that's okay so now just using my finger once again I'm just softening out that color and kind of filling in my lips uh, with that and now I'm grabbing my Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Omi, I believe it's called, O-M-I. It's a really gorgeous pink shade, and I'm just going ahead in and applying that. Okay guys, so this is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions on videos that you would like me to do, then make sure to comment down below and let me know. And of course, make sure to check out the description box down below. I'll have all of the products listed down below that I used today. And of course, Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.